oh, this is so cool. You know, up here they have a thing that says, my name, George Stonefish, and I'm a Delaware Chippewa from the American Indian Community House, in case I get lost. <laughs> I am pleased to be here for the 10th anniversary of Creative Time, which is a culmination of all progressive thinkers who have the care and concern of our continent, our Mother Earth, our environment, our health, as the forefront of what they do in their lives. To see all of you together makes my heart flutter. I am a Lenape Indian, also known as a Delaware, also known as a Lenapu. We are the original inhabitants, the indigenous people that greeted the Dutch and old Henry Hudson, uh, Verrazano, all of them when they came to this great Turtle Island. We are the ones that helped them survive their initial entry into our territory. We provided them with the knowledge to how to grow, how to hunt, how to survive our winters, our summers, how to plant. And as a result of everything that we gave to them and that we shared with them and how we welcomed them, when they came in sufficient numbers to this territory, they removed us and chased us all over Turtle Island because they wanted our land, our crops, our fields. And this was the thanks that we got from these original inhabitants starting with the Dutch on. So now, the Lenape people, we have two reservations up in Canada in southern Ontario. We have two in Oklahoma, in Bartisville, Oklahoma, and Anadarko. We have one in Wisconsin. And we only have two state-recognized groups in northern and southern Jersey and one in the state of Delaware. But we were removed from all of this territory. Nevertheless, I am here to welcome you as your landlord. <laughs> and in doing this, I guess what I would really like to do is I would like to teach you something about our tradition and our culture and the way Native Americans or indigenous people of this continent think. And I think it's best illustrated if you learn how we pray. Because the prayer is how we do it. And so that you understand it. I could say it in Lenape, but you wouldn't understand a word. So I'm going to say it in English so that you get the impact of how we go about doing it. In addition to which, I'm going to make it very, very short. Because when our elders in, the, in our big house and on our traditional forums, when we pray for an opening of a gathering of, of knowledge such as this, our elders usually take about an hour and a half. And I only got six minutes. <laughs> Creator, thank you for coming together of one heart and one mind. And thank you for the earth, the stars, the moon, the sky. For all of them provide for our people, provide light, provide guidance, and provide and continue to follow their instructions as handed down by the Creator. Thank you for the winged creatures that fly and provide sustenance and, and ceremonial feathers and provide meat and also provide guidance to the other animals and continue to follow their instructions as handed down by the Creator. And thank you for the, the trees, the grass, and all manner of things that grow to provide for our winged creatures and provide sustenance and housing and, and, and allow us to survive in this territory by following their instructions as handed down by the Creator. And thank you for the three sisters, corn, bean, and squash, that have provided sustenance for our people on this continent and for, for everybody who came and who we shared this knowledge with.
and continues to this day to follow their instructions as handed down by the Creator. Thank you for the four-legged creatures that populate the earth, that give their lives to provide sustenance, to provide clothing for us, and continue to follow their instructions as handed down by the Creator. And for those things that I may have forgotten because of my young age, I would like to take a moment of silence for you all to pray in your own way to give thanks for those things that I may have missed. And in doing and coming together today, I am so happy that we are here and that we all continue to follow our instructions as handed down by our respective creators and that we look at each other as brothers and sisters and look at all the winged creatures, the four-legged creatures, the sky, the moon, the stars, as all being brothers and sisters and our relatives. Because in that relationship, then we accord them the appropriate respect that they are due. Anishik, Anishik, Anishik. You will notice that I did not ask for anything in my prayers. It is not our tradition to do so. It is only our tradition to give thanks for those things that transpire and happen in our environment and with our brothers and sisters. This is the appropriate way that we believe in praying. We don't use prayers as a means to ask for things. To, we work on them ourselves, and then we give thanks for the things that we are able to achieve. Now, all of you are on my territory, and I welcome you to this territory with an open heart and an open mind. And I want you to understand that even though the Lenape don't have a homeland in the five boroughs and in this area in which we all populated, where we had settlements on Staten Island here in Manhattan, where we supposedly sold this island for $24. These misnomers, these self-serving histories, are the histories that belong to the victors, but are not the truth. And all I see here are truth seekers. So in that light, I would like to honor all of you by singing you an honor song. And in doing that, you have to do something for me. You have to stand up.
may be seated. Oh, there we go. Now, before I leave you, I want to just leave you with this one thing. You know, I was looking over all of the different workshops and everything else that you have here. Now, I'm also the, uh, on the board of directors of the American Indian Community House, in addition to working with the Lenape Project to bring uh, the histories of our dispossession all together in one place and to create a living memorial to the Lenape here in the uh, five boroughs. But one of the things I noticed, and I, I really want you all to make every effort to attend, is the historical erasure and misappropriations for our voices and values that's going to be held uh, on the third session uh, at uh, Cooper, here in the Cooper Union um, on the third floor in room 315F, as in Frank. Um, now, one of the things I wanted to make mention here is that Cooper Union has a history of being native friendly or indigenous people friendly because in 1870 they had Chief uh, Red Cloud speak here. And during this course of that particular uh, uh, seminar that I pointed out, they'll be discussing that. Also, they'll be talking about cultural uh, appropriation and uh, sovereignty and other issues that you should learn about that that are part and parcel of our lives as indigenous people and landlords of this continent. You cannot forget us. We are a guiding light. You can learn so much more in your different doctrines and your, and your different disciplines because we were the first ones who cared for our land, cared that the pollution didn't happen. And we still maintain that. And we still are very progressive. We also have a young lady in Echo Hawk who will be talking in, about health and will be giving parts of the seminar. These are things that you should attend because you should learn your real history before you start creating your own. And with that, thank you and welcome.